this is Ursula. Today I'm going to bring you a short kind of like a relaxing um, stretching practice. You can do anytime you want to. If you feel stressed, if you feel bored, you can add it on to a workout or after a workout. You can do this in the morning. You can do this um, when you go to bed. Anytime you want to have a quick stretch, use this video, share it, subscribe, and um, let's go. Here we go. We're gonna warm up our back here as we're going in a circular motion. It's always important to warm up the back a little bit before we do anything else. Let's let that breath flow in and out of your nose and just let your head just flow along here just a couple times. And um, I noticed in the end that my mic wasn't working again. I don't know what is the problem. That's why I decided here to do a voiceover flowing here with your breath from side to side and then we're gonna go counterclockwise same thing pull that belly a little bit in and just let your head come along here with the ride and just enjoying the warm-up the stretching here you're getting into your hips so I stacked my, my legs in front of each other and I'm stretching my arms forward, wiggle here a little bit from side to side and take a couple nice deep breath here. You can also use a block if you have one handy, no problemo, or a big pillow, anything of your liking. And remember, you can always pause the video, especially if you do it on your phone, and stay longer in any of those poses I'm demonstrating here. This is totally up to you. Deep belly breathing and breathing into your upper back. So now we're going to go over to the right bent knee here and stretching all the way out. Long body breathing deep. You may want to lead a little bit here with that left arm. So you're feeling it on the left side of your body as well. Breathing deep into that side body. You're feeling that more into the right glute than when you're just coming straight forward. This is more into the hip area. Now we're going to come over to the other side. Block out of the way here. And stretching now over that left knee. Same thing. You may want to lead a little bit with the left arm. You may bring the left elbow all the way down to the yoga mat or keep it hovering like I do. And again, deep breathing. Let your head just float along with it. No tension in your neck here at all. Breathing. And then we're going to come forward and up and we're switching up the legs. You could cross your legs. I prefer it that way. Yeah, I'm taking the block again. Maybe I can go a little lower because the body, the hips, the lower back is giving. Snuggle here in again and deep belly breathing, letting everything relax for a few deep breaths right here. It's wonderful when we know how to stretch and give the body that rest and that internal massage. And we're going to come up. Use the block out of the way here. And I want to stretch now first over that left knee. Stretching is so important. It's not a day going by where I do not stretch. And even sometimes it's just five or ten minutes. Your body feels better. Your body functions better. Um, not just the oxygen you're getting, it is in general a good thing to do. Over to the other side, lengthening out and noticing, you're probably noticing that you're more flexible already. You can bend lower and maybe resting that right forearm onto your yoga mat. All the bends, the fibers in your body need stretching. Good, and we're going to come into a butterfly pose. Please, if this is not possible, scoot you more forward into the diamond shape. Otherwise, you can rock here a little bit and you don't have to come all the way down. Hugging here with your fingers, your feet. You may use a block here again under your forehead to make yourself as comfortable as possible to relax the rest of the body. Letting that breath flow again. Stretching is very, very important 
for our central and paranervous system to stimulate and of course getting rid of stress in the entire body which just extend our life expectancy when we stretch and in general doing exercises so now we're going to straighten that right leg more diagonal instead of straight forward move the plug out of the way here and i'm gonna you know try to get my chest into the center of that right leg prep it a little bit and then slowly coming forward feel free to use a strap or even put a pillow or a blanket like i have a blanket here fold it up make it high and cozy and then you can just rest here like that or just coming over that right leg and enjoying a couple deep breath and remember you can always pause the video if you want to stay longer in the stretch breathing here into your upper back and lower back when I'm stretching to the side like that I feel that way more on the opposite lower kidney lower back area outer hip just breathing and coming back up and we're going to go a little diagonal here stretching out now the other leg and coming diagonal forward it's just a little different you know and I'm scooching a bit back here we go same thing you may use a pillow blanket bolster or even a block under your forehead and then easing into that pose with each exhale you go as low as you feel comfortable maybe you even want to use a strap around both feet breathing here deeply again in and out to the nose or into the nose and out to the mouth coming back up switching over to the other side stretching here first in the center a little bit opening the hips it's kind of like a spider position holding onto your ankles or bringing your arms under your legs find a comfortable way just letting your head here relax no strain in the neck and shoulders you can turn your head from side to side or just be still in the center i find that really hip opening it's just a wonderful way to get more mobility in your back and in your hips as well. I'm going to come back out and I'm bending now my right knee in and right foot in and straightening out the left leg. Here we go. Wiggle into place so you're feeling both sit bones, links in your spine, square the chest and coming down and again you may want to use a blanket a bolster or a block taking some deep oh, at least 15 to 20 seconds i would say holding on one pose and breathing really deep if you like or familiar with the uchiyai breath where you close the back of your throat go for it it's a longer more relaxing more flexibility building breath and back up and straightening out now that left leg as well you see here i have my mic on and it just stopped well that's why we can do voiceovers breathing into your nose and maybe out to your mouth is a little sigh anything what makes you relaxed You want to point or flex your toes slowly coming back out and we're going to come here into a straddle not quite as deep not as stressing too much just an easy stretch here coming a little more forward and again you may want to use a block a bolster or a few pillows to put under your chest or under your forehead make sure you just let your legs relax your feet are kind of straight you know the toes pointing towards the ceiling not inward and then just settle here let your shoulders relax breathing again deep into that belly as well as into that upper back and shoulder and just let it be good and then we're going to come over to the right side so i like to use my index finger into the achilles tendon here resting the forearm <coughs> excuse me into my inner leg and opening up here the shoulder 
keep the arm behind me, let my head relax, or, or bring that, you know, open up that side here nice and deep, or bring that arm all the way out. This is a preference. You don't have to. You get a deeper stretch, yes, but you don't necessarily have to bring the arm out very, very much here. It's more about getting a deep stretch in the side body and again breathing deep and then coming back to the center and we repeat that same thing here to the other side. You know, keep the arm behind, don't slump in your lower shoulder, maybe looking up to the ceiling, let your head go where it's comfortable and or bring in that arm right by your ear again for a deeper stretch. It's not necessary to hold on to your toes here. We don't want to overdo it. We want to relax with our stretching today. Breathing deep here. And then coming here again to the center. Bring the legs in and we kind of come onto hands and knees for a couple cat cows. Linking them to our breath here. Reach your chest to the gate of your shoulders and then exhale round. Tuck your chin in, press the floor. Inhale, links and out, belly drops. Exhale, comes belly in and ready. Round, press that floor away. One more. You can either tuck your toes under or untuck your toes. Good. So from here, we bring the right leg forward and bend a little bit, balance back, stretching the hamstring. See how I'm easing in and out to the pose. Nothing traumatic. Just finding some links here in the hamstring area. I'm still nursing a little injury on my left hip flexor. That's why I can't bend so deep. So you can come out diagonal to the side. You can come onto your forearms into more like a lizard pose, or just stay here, walk out maybe that right leg, bend the knee away from your torso, lift the chest up, and find your stretch here, look straight ahead or up, relax your shoulders, and a couple nice deep breath. And we're gonna walk that right leg over, and we're gonna prep here for pigeon on the floor. I'm moving in and out a little bit. I like that to give my hips enough time to get ready for that stretch. And then I lay that knee close to my right hand and walk that left leg straight behind me, either tuck or untuck the toes. And then I wiggle myself into place. You may want to put a block under your right hip, come onto your forearms. Again, maybe a bolster, a pillow, or a block under your chest or under your head. This is optional. Finding that opening that links. And then you notice when your body gives, you may want to go deeper into the pose by moving the item. So from here, we're going to stretch a little diagonal, make some room here. <laughs> A little diagonal over the knee. So the knee is kind of in between your chest. Feeling that stretch tremendously in the left side body as well as more into the outer hip on the right leg. Easy on your neck. Coming up here slowly. And from here, we're going to bring now the other leg forward, that left leg. Again, ease a little bit in and out into a hamstring stretch, finding here the leg in the center and trying to balance your hips. And then find, um, uh, you know, where you want to stay, where you want to hold on either both hands on either side to guide you along or on top of that leg. And walk that left leg out, move the knee a bit away. Again, coming here into the lizard or coming up onto your hands. You choose. I give you, you know, options here. You pick what is right for you. Lift up that chest, coming here into a twist. Deep breathing again. Be easy on your neck and shoulders and just let the body organically open up.
and then we get ready here for pigeon on the other side walk that left leg over prep it a little bit see how i'm going and rocking in and out of that pose to give my hips more time to open up and then when i find the right spot i chop the knee towards the left hand walk the right leg more back tuck or untuck and then again forearms maybe a pillow bolster or block and coming all the way out and then snuggling here your hips in and take some deep deep breath and then slowly make your way over to that left knee in the center of your chest and stretch again for a couple more deep breaths see how my spine is moving like a c curve so you're definitely stretching the right outer side all the way through the armpit to down to the hip And then we're going to come back out, swing that leg around it, and we okay, are... Okay, that was it. As I was about to um, edit my video, I noticed again that my mic stopped. I don't know if it's a movement I'm doing, that it automatically turns it off. That's why I did a voiceover, so again, I apologize. And um, the favorite pastime I like to do when I have some time is watching the TV series Heartland. You can find it on Netflix all the way, I think, to season 11 or 10. And then the newer ones are on UP, Up in Family. And no, I'm not making an info commercial. <laughs> it's just a very, very sweet um, TV show about country, horses, family life, and the up and down. So that's what I enjoy mostly doing. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have a fantastic rest of the day, wherever you are. And make sure you subscribe. Give me some thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what else you want to see. Okay, thank you.